Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Before you start this level, uh, what I want you to do is go back over here and get yourself this power once again. Combine Needle with Brock and then exit the stage. You'll see why in just a second because this next stage requires two different combinations of powers like that and the stage itself is not providing you with those powers so what you might as well do is once you get the shard that's needed with the power that you need to you know to get the shard you should probably leave the level and go back outside to get the power for the next shard uh, you'll see what I mean when I get here but this is the level that I was talking about the factory level that's quite annoying <laughs> it's a uh, as you can see it's like a banjo kazooie puzzle piece style design okay maybe it's not but oopsie but the this place is very very hazardous it's a lot more hazardous than any area that we've played before and it's a huge difficulty increase these guys give you bomb uh, bomb powers if you would like that there's the first shard and now what you want to do over here see these boxes Brown and orange? Yep, that's how you get it. And that's why I got that power first right off the bat. So let's break that out and look out for the cannonballs! Oh, maybe I should have been using my power to get myself through there safely. Like if I would if I were using the power, I'd be able to nullify those cannonballs along my along the way. So, so that was my mistake. Anyway, get that shard, and now leave the area, because you want to get yourself another power. You want to get yourself that lightsaber power, actually, the uh, spark plus cutter power. So I'm just going to make a run through here. And yeah, I'll see you when I grab them, I suppose. And combine! And look at that, we're back here already with our lightsaber power. Yeah, so now I can skip that. You'll see why I need this in just a minute. It's in the, well, it's in the boss area, so it's maybe it's not quite in the minute, I mean at the minute, but you definitely need to go outside the level to get the powers you need here. So we got DDD on our side. These guys, hammerheads here, they kill you in one hit. So be very cautious as you pass through them. They, they strike at timed intervals, so you shouldn't have any trouble dodging their attacks, but don't push your luck if you feel you're not going to get through. Just relax because you've got the treadmill and everything. You have to take that into account and you certainly don't want to die when you have a power like this because then you're going to have to leave the level and restart it. Yeah, you get the idea. And I was playing a little too cautiously there by hitting a wall and leaving immediately. Careful. Good. And good. Yeah, so one hit kills. It's like a bottomless pit of death. Now it's it's getting real. <laughs> the game's starting to pick up. Well, sort of. It's still not all that hard, but it's it's definitely an increase in difficulty compared to uh, other areas. Now wait, there we go, 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 go. It definitely helps if you jump a little bit so that you get some more forward momentum. And yeah, through there, please. Thank you. <laughs> and no, it's still not the boss. Dang it. I must get to the boss with my power intact, and this appears to be some sort of weird experimental factory facility, it's... Yeah! <laughs> you can see all sorts of odd critters going on, I mean, uh, odd critters in the background, and yeah. It's uh, up to you what you might think that they do here. By the way, to put away your lightsaber so that you can float, you just, you just press down in order to put it away like that. Just uh, thought I would mention that in case no one knew that. And I'm going to carefully look around here. Oh, there's sandwiches. But I'm pretty sure, or at least I think, there's a shard somewhere in here. Careful, do not lose the power by taking any unnecessary hits. Because I do not want to go outside the level again to get this power because I'm going to have to play it from the beginning. You only need this for uh, one shard a little bit later on. The uh, other shard you can get, it's just lying around. Uh, 
who's a weird experimental cat in the background, but still cute at the same time. But then again, cats are naturally cute. Oh boy, do not take the hits. And there appears to be some sort of witch in that container. I have no idea. It's a cat witch camel. Uh, is this the boss area? Please be the boss area. Yes, it is. Okay, break this. That's what you need the power for. And we got a giant Burnus enemy here. And we just gotta take care of it, and we should be good to go. If you don't have a power, you're gonna have to use those to defeat it. Uh, otherwise, it's, it's no big deal with those. Alright, put it away. And where that cage was that was gonna protect the shard, there is the shard. And now, I do not care about this power. <laughs> well, okay, I still kinda care about the power, because it's still pretty cool. And now in this section of the factory, you got one hit kill squishing. Yeah, it's more hazardous areas. It's kind of like the part in Return to Dreamland. Well, actually, no, no, um, Return to Dreamland would be more based off of uh, this part than anything because Return to Dreamland came later, but you get what I'm saying here. But yeah, it's very similar to those squishy portions in other Kirby games in general, I suppose you could say. I, I think that they like to use one-hit kill uh, things later on in the game to increase the difficulty because, as you know, Kirby, he's a pretty resilient guy. Whoops. <laughs> like, even though I took that hit there, I still have five health, and then there's multiple treats along the way to uh, keep me replenished in my health and whatnot, so... It's not really a, a big deal, health-wise, unless you're, like, really, really, um, reckless. And you can tell when things are coming, because you can, you know, you can see them in the background and stuff. But, did I just... yeah... <laughs> Force a habit going in the holes. Oh, poopers. Well, I'll see you back at that spot, I suppose. <laughs> Please don't tell me I'm gonna start sneezing like crazy again. There's the corner that got me. Yeah, I didn't pay much attention to that at all, obviously, otherwise I wouldn't have gotten squished. Oh geez, that's kinda treacherous actually to get through. <laughs> Cause that's that's a pretty tight area there. Alright. Just be careful. The caution tape will light the way. Okay, maybe not. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. <laughs> Do not get hit by the cannonballs, otherwise you could be screwed. And... Okay. <laughs> Alright, checkpoint at every new area makes me happy. Oh, this is where the, uh... Um... Last shard is. Uh, it's... You gotta get far ahead enough of those things to be able to get the shard and escape. They're squishy doom, so yeah, just rush on ahead. Look in those corners that you're seeing there. And I hope I didn't screw up there. I don't think I did. Wait, oh, poopers. <laughs> I'm just trying to look ahead to see. Oh, it's there. There you go. Get out of there. Oh, <laughs> well, it counted. That's the thing that matters. It counted because now it'll be replaced by a blue star. Oopsie. Dang it, plug! Ugh. And I see that you can get the um, spark plus cutter because those uh, buzzsaw enemies there, they give you the cutter power. But you don't get it before the place that it matters. You know the boss, and you can't go back once you uncover that shard, as I've shown you before in other boss rooms, even accidentally. <laughs> so... Oh, pfft, that was just terrible. On my end, I mean. Oh, yeah, that's right, you gotta be here. <laughs> I forgot about that portion. In case you don't realize, those are um, robots pushing some electrical fire hazard wall towards you. Maybe they're the uh, defense system. Oh, by the way, these enemies, their names are called Zeus. Yeah, Zeus, a reference to the uh, Thunder God, basically. And... What's the worst prize I could get? Well, besides nothing. And there you go. Got all the shards on probably the hardest stage in the game, in my opinion. Now, this boss, let's start it. It's known as HR-H. 
Just wait around here. Wait in the center. It's it's good to be in the center with this boss. Trust me on this. When he swings, just jump right over it. No problem. And you can see which arm he's going to swing with it as well. And these missiles are going to come down. You can either use them to... Actually, I probably should show you the proper way on how to do this. <laughs> like if you don't have power, as I usually do. And now just wait for the bombs. There we go. Suck one in. Wait for him to not do that. Wait for him to swing his arm. Time it correctly. I did not time it correctly. <laughs> and I realized I'm at 3 health. That is not good. That that was from the uh, last level and whatnot. You can tell that they give you plenty of time to get those bombs just by... Whoops. Just by um, the fact that they just like stick in the ground for a little while like that sometimes if you don't get one in time. Whoops. Oh, poopers. But yeah, all you have to do is just hit his hit his arms, or her arms, you can't really tell the gender of a robot. And you should be good to go, you just have to time it properly. For this one, jump over both, and then, as he's coming down, shoot it like that. Try and get a second hit, no, you could I mean, I couldn't that time, oh well. Yeah! It's not all that hard, but you just gotta be, you just gotta be on your toes, just stand right on this line here, you're good to go. Jump. That was terrible timing. I was gonna try and hit behind, like to try and get more or e an easier hit out of it, but my timing is just clearly off on this boss today. <laughs> Oop. All poopers. Oh well, whatever. That's probably the safest point to hit him there because his arms are just right in the center and they stay there for a long time. I suppose if you're playing really cautiously, you could do that. He's coming down. That. Like, I could probably just avoid these and just hit him when he does the double arm swing. Come on. Any day now. There we go. <laughs> and. Wah! No! <laughs> I managed to hit one of those little rock particles or whatever the heck that he kicks up on the ground here. I mean, this it doesn't seem to be made out of rock, but I don't know. <laughs> ah, there we go. But this boss has two phases. This is HR-E. Be careful. Oh, God. Shoot him back at him like so. See the spot that glowed yellow there is where you want to hit him. And he's got a bunch of different attacks. Hopefully I will be able to successfully beat him. Um, kind of in a bad position. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be trapped by him in the corner there. He, when he does that move, he um, jumps towards you directly, and yeah. Oh shoot, that was close. And if you get too close to him, he'll try and attack you with those two pincer-like claws that are sticking out there. And that's it. Wow, I managed to beat him with only three health. That is nice. <laughs> That feels good, baby. <laughs> and I actually think I'm going to end off this part uh, after the uh, upcoming cutscene, of course. It's about time that we go over to her homeland. The Corrupted Ripple Star. Excitement! Oh, come on, Kirby! That is not being epic. Thank you, Ribbon. I kind of knocked myself out there. <laughs> and there we are at Ripple Star, of which, as I said, I'm going to start in the next part. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you then.